Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to the channel. So firstly, uh, anyone who obviously hadn't subscribed, think about subscribing for more future content. So today's video, I've had my Phantom 3 Pro now for several years, and I absolutely love it to be honest, but in recent years I've kind of neglected her. So as it's Valentine's Day, I thought I should give her a bit of a facelift. Um, so I went online, I found a company, Penfolds Drone Skins, I'll leave the link below, um, and they're based down here in South Wales. Um, I had to look on their Facebook page and they had loads of stuff to be fair and really good selection so I found one um, it cost me about £19 including delivery and two days later it arrived um, I went for the camel red um, firstly for a bit of contrast like any drone fly can tell you um, in certain conditions you can momentarily lose sight of your drone um, and the fact that the drone is white obviously it blends perfectly in with the clouds um, secondly, I think it looks pretty cool, red camera looks pretty cool. Thirdly, apparently it helps reduce bird attacks. I don't know, that's what I've been told. So I've never done this before and my experience lies exclusively in watching YouTube videos. So um, this is going to go one of two ways. So prep ice is pretty simple. I just wiped down the drone, um, dried it thoroughly and that's going to help um, the skin stick to the drone. And you will need a hairdryer, my Blue Peter moment, um, and just to help them make, skin, make the skin a bit more malleable and it'll help um, heat the glue, which might, you know, is going to help it stick to the drone a little bit better. Obviously, I took off the propellers. You don't need to do that, but obviously it's just going to make things a million times harder to do if you leave it on. Right then, so enough rambling. Let's get on with it. <laughs> So I'm happy with the end results. It was quite straightforward as soon as I got um, all the shapes and everything in the right order. Um, it was quite tricky, uh, as you can see. It was sort of going back and forth and putting it on, putting it back off again. Um, but, you know, I am going to have to go through it again and just flatten out a few air bubbles and things. But yeah, as I said, quite happy with the results. It's going to do exactly what I want it to do, which is basically be contrasty in the sky and look cool effectively. Um, so I hope you like what you saw, um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers.